Your personal information is up for sale and it's totally legal. Yeah, companies are making millions of dollars by selling your info. They're called data brokers and they are largely unregulated. New at 11, CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprasia digging deeper to show us how they operate and what you can do to keep them from stealing your information. Data. It's defined as facts and statistics collected together for statistical analysis. But let's look deeper into the computer. Data about you is being scraped from all over the internet, and anybody with cash can get it and use it however they want. How much do you think is available about you on public databases? I would say that there's uh, probably a good amount just based on all the apps that I have and websites I have accounts for. But it goes deeper than that where you live, the price of your home, your estimated net worth, relatives' names, ages, and relationships to you, past addresses, mobile phone numbers, political affiliations, employers, court proceedings, and more. All kinds of things can get slurped up by these data brokers and put into one nifty profile that is currently 100% legal for them to sell. And how much information is out there? I went to a data broker's website, plugged in my name, and was able to come up with six pages of information about me, and that was without paying for the full service. And who are data brokers? Well, there are hundreds of them out there. Some are well-known names, some obscure. In many cases, we don't know what information they store and who they are working with. Nothing is stopping anybody from doing business with these data brokers at what we would call the retail level. And lots of organizations are also buying from data brokers for all kinds of reasons, such as targeted marketing, employers, insurers, and healthcare organizations and providers. Years ago, if you wanted to collect records on somebody, you had to physically go place to place to place and collect them. That could take forever. We can actually actually do that and provide that with within seconds. Harrison Tang is the CEO of Spokio. They sell data, for example, people looking to connect with others like adoptees searching for birth parents or people who are trying to protect themselves from fraud. So some people use it uh, to check on their online date before they meet that in person. Uh, businesses are using it for protector side, are using it to catch scammers. Spokio says it collects things like your social security number but encrypts it and only uses that number to help link it to different data files to create a profile about you. Could I, as a client, request somebody's social security number or driver's license number from you? No. What if I don't want to be in Spokio's database? Well, it offers an opt-out feature which eliminates your records. But many other data brokers make it quite difficult to remove your name from their collection efforts. And with hundreds of companies doing that, finding all of them is nearly impossible. So a company like Delete Me offers to do the work for you for an annual fee of $129 a year. We have to keep track of which data brokers are going out of business, changing their name, uh, reconstituting themselves as, as, a, a, as a new entity. With all that information about you out there, it's currently a data collection free for all. You think there need to be some kind of regulation against these so-called data brokers? I, I absolutely do think that it should be. Currently, Vermont has a law requiring data brokers to register with that state, and it does put limits on some of their data collection activities. And the Biden administration indicated it will propose some kind of data broker regulation nationally in the next two years. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia. All right, if there's something you want us to dig into, tell us all about that. You can call the newsroom at the number you see there on your screen or send us an email to newstips at cbs17.com.